Hey you guys, I'm Fern Cook. Welcome to the Kirkwood Project. We're just outside the city of Atlanta. I have installed over a thousand designs here in, over the last 20 years, but this is one of my favorites. It's a great personal story and it's an amazing transformation of space. Come with me, check it out. Our nickname for this project was the Hillside Challenge. We had to be creative and to be mindful of budget, you have to be creative. So the plan we came up with, with this 18 foot drop off, was to create a small retaining wall down at the bottom of the hill. It's just shy of four feet tall, which keeps us away from having to have crazy permits and engineering drawings made, keeps it budget friendly. But then we needed to do something on the steepest part of the hillside. So I came up with the idea to create small boulder walls. I call them smile walls from above and on the design they look like a smiley face. But it's a, just a simple addition of a few boulders in a smile shape that help retain portions of the hill. Come on in. Here's a good example. So a little short wall to create a planting pocket that doesn't control stormwater, we can't do that, but we can control erosion. So this just slows the water down rather than barreling down the hillside in a river and dumping mud all over our patio. The smile walls allow for plants to thrive and also allow for a nice focal point to put pretty things. super important to know your soil chemistry and your water and light before you choose your plants. And pay attention again to what's on that tag. If you're doing this yourself, it's, if it says it wants shade, don't put it in the sun. I chose species that are complementary with each other, like this gray owl juniper up in the back far left that flows into that flowering hydrangea tree and then flows into the ornamental grasses on the other side. It all feels sweeping and almost again like water coming down a hill. And then it lands at the bottom of the hill with this statuesque god of a specimen of a Japanese maple tree who would make sense if this were a rock formation. The big, heavy, sturdy rock would have landed at the bottom of the hill. It's good design to try to think like Mother Nature. Stormwater management is at the forefront of my mind in every project here in Atlanta. Our soil just does not drain. You can dig a hole and it will, the water will sit there until it evaporates. So we have lots of stormwater runoff in our big rainstorms. This property was super challenging. It has a steep hill from both sides coming together at this one spot in the side yard. This used to be Lake Kirkwood. <laughs> And when it rains really hard, sometimes it still is. We manage storm water. We don't completely eradicate problems, but we help manage the direction in which we want the water to flow and help control erosion. Two ways to control erosion, rocks and roots. In this instance, we added a bunch of river rocks around a drain box that ties in with permission to the neighbors drainage system and heads out to the natural area on down the hill. I don't always love using drain boxes, but in this instance, there was no other way to get the water out of here because it's a little bit higher behind the fence than it is over here. We really should have a city stormwater inlet, but we made it work and it looks okay. We're not, again, this is a functional part of a landscape. The thing that we did that is creative is added these raised planter beds for vegetables. The client wanted a vegetable garden. This gets great sun. It would have been a dead space with no use. So you can see they grow tomatoes and fennel and peppers and um, all sorts of things back here in the wasted stormwater space. Thanks for tuning in to Vision Accomplished. If you like what you see, 
You can subscribe, comment, and share to enter into our Japanese maple giveaway. Stay tuned to upcoming shows for more info.